you would bow to its carbon fibre chassis, point your prayer mat in the direction of its 604 brake horsepower V10 engine, nail yourself to its ceramic clutch and lie prostrate in front of its muscular supercar form. Well, you might. But what you would definitely do is talk very nicely to your bank manager and explain why you have spent £330,000 on a car. Can you imagine buying one of those at Yes Car Finance or one of those? Have you been refused credit? Or oh, do you want a Porsche GT? We can arrange it. Um, oh man, 330 grand. Like I say, you've got to be able to afford to crash it to drive it. The supercar market is one of the most hotly contested of all. Currently, the Mercedes McLaren SLR, the Ferrari Enzo and the Porsche are all vying for your half million pound checks. But not everybody is convinced. Bonkers, mad, ridiculous. Sensational, if you can afford to own them. Um, but the amount of money you're talking about, you know, paying for them, um, when, let's face it, the only time you're ever going to get to drive them as they are designed and intended is on a track. Well, bonkers they may be, but by the time you've realised you've paid an inordinate amount of money for a car that you can't really use, you'll be doing 200 miles an hour and you won't even care. And that's the whole point of cars like this. They don't fulfil any new marketing niche, they don't answer age-old problems, and they're not exactly suited to today's motoring environment. They do, however, provide the raw, visceral thrill of speed. And that's good enough for me, and obviously for you too, because it's at number 92.